and you had your surgery in 2011. Can you recap on what you felt or what happened to you when you felt your sternum go? It sort of burned for quite a while yep. after after a good way, yeah. Yeah. So how was that pain out of 10 when it happened? Uh, I'd say about 8. Um, were you getting any clicking or grating from, from yeah, that yeah. or discomfort? You could feel the movement there. Yeah, yeah. we put the quality of brace on you then. Um, did you get any immediate effect from that? I or felt support there straight away. I could lift things without the movement there that really supported it. One percent of the people might have might have sternal complications of serious nature, yeah. um, which would involve that the bone not being properly united or having nasty infections. I would say up to five percent of the people would be unhappy with the way their sternum has been closed, and um, this is quite an underreported problem. So people don't usually go asking their patients, and hence. We don't see that numbers, but if you if you do a survey and an audit, you'll find that quite a few people have those kind of problems. Um, the main causes are advanced age, um, people who are overweight and especially having respiratory problems and emphysema. Um, there are also people who've got osteoporosis, so elderly ladies, I think, are quite uh, prone for that. And people who have had past radiation or chemotherapy, it just makes their healing quite difficult, you see. Yeah. Yeah. So Daryl's actually had been open about four times already. So. Yes. Given that his bone hasn't united so well, the, the question was as to how symptomatic he was. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that the pain was so excruciating that it was preventing him day-to-day -day work, but the sternum wasn't stable. Mm -hmm. On one side we had that he definitely needed something to be done, but if we would have thought of the surgical option, I thought he is 75. This would have been the fourth time, and that's not something pleasing for any patient to go under the knife once again. And after a second time sternal procedure, maybe still 50% of the patients aren't fully happy and won't get the same healing, you know. Because one thing which is underreported is, as well, the sternum heals very slowly, Darrell. It takes almost two years by the time 80% of the bone is united, you see. So, and in Darrell's case, we thought that He's better off taking a chance with conservative treatment and, and hence we came up with the option which you guys have provided and seems to be working well for him. So ultrasound's just a way of imaging without any radiation right. and it's non-invasive. So what, what I'm going to do is place this probe on and it's going to give us a picture of your sternum and uh, we'll point out some features on that. We're using the gel so that the sound waves can actually goes through. So you can actually see at this point, here we've got one edge of the bone and the other edge of the bone. Right. And because you've been wearing the brace for a period of time, the quali breath, and you've been minimising the amount of rotation and excessive pushing with one arm, and really following some of the precautions that the team set for you, that's given time for the the connective tissue to actually fill the gap between the two bony edges. So can you see that railway track yes. that's in between the two bones? Yes, I can. So that's formed a little joint, almost like silicon between the bones there, and it's formed a connection. And so that's part of the healing process. So wearing that brace has enabled the bony edges to just stay relatively still yes. and allow that heal natural healing process to take place. You've got a better quality of life out, out of the brace.